already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person, the Empress, and it's with the Five of Cups. Now the Empress, just know when you see this card in a reading, it's the type of energy or person that does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now this does not mean she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially, because there's many types of wealth and many types of riches in life. And money is actually only one of them. But as the Empress, you know, the Empress can encompass any or all of them. Basically, the Empress can have it all. Now, it's with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is another card which reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? Now, what I'm trying to say is that when you get the Five of Cups in a reading, you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So, Gemini, recent past energy between you and your person, Empress, clarified by this Five of Cups. Yeah, I'm picking up that for a lot of you, Gemini's. You had deep love for your person. The Empress can be about deep love. Deep love and attraction. Yeah, that's how you felt about your person. But you ended up being disappointed. And you were trying to focus on the positive and not the negative. But there was some, maybe some loss, some type of regret. With the Five of Cups, there could have been some grief. Maybe you could have even felt abandoned or unloved by your person. But you had a lot of love for this person, deep love. And you were very attracted to them. But let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Four of Pentacles, and it's with the Sun card. Now, the Four of Pentacles can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than it's healthy, longer than it's realistic. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a definite sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and, other, and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety, fear, could be about money, or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. Now, the key here is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping it doesn't bring security. Yes, it's with the Sun card. Now, with this card, things are likely to be going really well. However, even though your finances are likely to be in good shape when you get the Sun card, just know that this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on that list for some of you. And I know for some of you it is. 
But you have to keep in mind it's a, it's a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and get out and about. If you can do so these days, if you can't, because of this virus, you can do you can um, socialize online. Um, if you're looking for a new job and you get the sun card, it signifies it's actually right around the corner. So, coming up, Gemini, four of pentacles clarified by the sun. So, yeah, you could find yourself trying to hold on to this connection. And it's saying you might be doing it in an unhealthy way. You're trying to fo- really, you're really trying to focus on what's good. But it's saying you go, you're going about it. It's saying with the Four of Pentacles, you're going about it. I don't know, for some of you, in a dramatic way. Or in a way that that can cause you anxiety. Because if you look at the Four of Pentacles, this man, this is the card about the word present. This man, he's on all fours of his money. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. He's got his hands on his money, and he's got his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it could explode. And if a huge brick fell out of the sky and hit him upside the head, he'd be right there in that same position. As if nothing ever hit him. Just clinging on really tight. In an unhealthy way. But because the sun card is here. You might start to realize that. It's it's time for you to be happy. It's time to get rid of the anxiety. And stop the unhealthy clinging. Yeah. Yeah. It's showing that you realize you just need to be happy. Yeah. You 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 want to be over and done with all the stress and anxiety and the disappointment that um happened between you and your person. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the Ace of Wands, and it's with the Ace of Cups. Absolutely beautiful. Now the Ace of Wands, they're both... (coughs) Well, actually, both of these cards are about new beginnings. The Ace of Wands, very positive, positive. It could be in the area of work or career. If you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. And I say very soon because if you look at the Ace of Wands, it's a card above the word challenge. This wand looks like it's sitting above the clouds, but no, uh, it's actually burst above the clouds. Really powerful and fast. So if you're having a difficult time, just know things are about to get better very soon. Ace of Wands, it's about being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a good cause. You, you're likely to be feeling really energetic and positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. The Ace of Wands also tells you that now is a good time to start something new. Now it's with the Ace of Cups, very powerful, positive card in the deck when it comes to love, when it comes to happiness and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill. More than usually when you get the Ace of Cups in a reading. So you'll be feeling really good about life overall. Great time to socialize. You make new friends. Yeah, your challenge is abs- absolutely beautiful. Gemini, you got a lot of great new beginnings. 
cards, you have two cards of new beginnings. One with one is with matters of the heart. The Ace of Cups. And the other is could be career, some new beginning with work, some positive new beginning with, with life overall. Fresh new starts here. Um, maybe somebody new is coming in. And it's all positive. It's all good. Fresh new starts. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this person that you're having um, some disappointment with, they could be asking you for a new beginning. Or either some type of fresh new start. Yeah. That could be it also. That could be including because you get more than one type of, you get more than one new beginning here. These are, these are several new beginnings. So this person could be tr making an attempt to try to get you to let's start over. Let's redo this. Let's, let's have a fresh new start. Like I said, also you could have someone new or more than one new person coming towards you. Yep. So this is absolutely, absolutely beautiful for the challenge. Now, let's see what the outcome is. We got the Devil card and the Seven of Wands. Now, with this Devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have a feeling that you're not in control of your life, but sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small baby steps. They're important. Now, so the Seven of Wands. Now, with this card, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation, that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they'll be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, though. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear. And just do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear. And you could actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. Seven of Wands. It's a card that points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So your outcome, Gemini. Devil clarified by the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I'm getting a couple of um couple of downloads here for this outcome now like i said you've got a lot of new beginnings here some of them with some of them are with new people some of them could be with, with people coming back trying to come back into your life wanting a fresh new start now, I'm getting that for some of you, this person that you're disappointed, you're having disappointment with, um, they could still be in the picture. You realize, though, it's time for you to be happy. And that's why these, these, um, these aces are here. It's time for you to be happy. But you, like I said, you, a lot of you are still holding on to this, to this five of cups person who's caused you some disappointment. And this person could have some addictions. That's what I'm getting with this devil card showing up here. Um, now, addictions can be greed, envy, materialism. This person could be the jealous type, or it could be about jealousy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Addictions, you know, drug abuse alcohol abuse or maybe they're just a toxic person 
they bring a lot of toxic energy to the connection. But it looks like you, you like I said, you're holding on really tight. I don't think you want to, you're not ready for this connection to end. But you know that it's time for you to be happy. Yeah. Now, with the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, Seven of Wands is showing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that. For a lot of you, you you just, you want this. You still want to be with this person. Even though they have toxic behaviors or they bring devil energy to the connection. You still want this person. You you want to be the last man standing. Because I keep looking at the Four of Pentacles, too. Yeah, Four of Pentacles and Seven of Wands. It's saying you're still holding on. There's some disappointment. This person brings devil energy to the connection for some of you. But you, you, you still want this. Yeah. But the challenge, eight, these two aces here. Yeah. You're going to have to make a choice. To go with the new beginnings. Or to start some new beginnings. Because they're waiting for you. There are a lot of great positive new beginnings are right around the corner for you, for you. But a lot of you, you're going to choose to uh, stick with your person, this person that's caused disappointment. And they have toxic behaviors or toxic energy or addictions. You, because you want to, the Seven of Wands is saying that you want to be the last man standing. So you, you're trying to focus on the positive. Yeah, the Empress is, is showing that you got deep love for this person. Yeah, you, it looks like you're willing to put up a fight and go through the, through the stuff, through the struggle. But, just keep in mind. You've got some wonderful new beginnings here. And you could actually miss out on the new beginnings. By trying to focus so hard. And I say hard because the Four of Pentacles is the type that goes hard. <laughs> like I said, if a brick fell out of the sky and, and knocked you upside your head, you're not budging. Yeah. You'll be going really hard for this connection, for this person. And it's saying it's in an unhealthy way. So, I'm getting a lot of your Geminis. You're going to miss out on a lot of great positive new beginnings and fresh starts. But it, it, that's why it's under the word challenge. So, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a family member. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a co-worker, a situation. And also, just know that the roles, they can be switched. You could actually be them, or they could be you. Yeah, the roles can be reversed. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are general readings. Yes, they are. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. 
hope to see you at the next reading. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays and take care.